Lisa, what's your girl, Ida Lisa, aka Ida Loves Makeup. I'm always gonna do this dance every time y'all see me. Mm, anyway, <laughs> um, I'm coming at you guys with this look today. This is a beautiful cotton candy, um, smoky eye, and it was requested by my cousin Jessica, so shout out to you, girl. Yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. It's a little bit ghetto fabulous, but um, until I get a better camera and stuff like that, it'll be like that. My hair is nappy. Mm -hmm. Anyways, love you guys. I hope you enjoy the look, and stay tuned if you want to see how to get this look. It's mad easy. I'm going to start off with my Urban Decay Primer Potion, which is what I always use uh, as a primer on my lids. Just going to put all my lids and blend it out, um, and that's what I did already. And then I'm going to take my uh, e.l.f. brush. I think it's called the C brush, and I'm taking the Coastal Sense uh, 42 Shimmer Palette, and I'm going to use this baby pink right there that I'm pointing at. And I'm going to go ahead and put that on my lid first as my first color. I almost put on the wrong lid, oops. <laughs> so I'm just going to go back and forth in like a sweeping motion um, until that gets packed onto my lid. Um, it's This look is super easy. Anybody can do it. So there's no need for a thousand brushes. It's just one brush, one palette, and that's it. Um, so I'm just going to keep packing this on until I get it to where I want it to be or the intensity I want it as. <clears throat> So, you know, I think, okay, if that's good enough for me, then I'm going to go ahead and go in with the, uh, the purple color, which is right there. Um, the light is washing out the true color, but it's like an electric purple. It's really beautiful. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in my crease. Um, and I'm using the same C brush. I just wiped it off and reused it again. Um, and that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in my crease, as you see. And I'm going to also do that sweeping motion back and forth um, until I get it. Uh, to where I want it to be so like I said it's very easy super easy I don't know why people want to use a thousand different brushes and a thousand different palettes it's just easy so there you go I'm just gonna keep doing that until I get it to where I want it to be and now I'm gonna go in with this electric blue uh, which is also gonna go on the crease on top of the purple Excuse me. So I'm going to place that right there towards the middle of the crease, um, towards my inner eye. And you see, like, just a little bit of it goes a long way. This, this palette is amazing, very pigmented, and you don't really have to struggle much with the colors. And that's one of the main reasons why I love it so much. Um, and it has tons of different colors, so it's good for traveling and whatnot. Uh, so I'm just going to take a little bit more and do that again. Just go back and forth. <clears throat> And you know, you can always adjust it, like if you think that you messed it up, or you uh, kind of like washed out the purple, or you need to adjust the pink, or whatever you want to do, you can always do that. So, um, I'm actually going to go in with this black now, and I'm going to put that on the very outer, outer part of my crease. Um, and I'm just, I just really want to blend that in, because I don't want it to be noticeable, almost. Um, so at first you're going to see that it looks like really strong, but of course everything with blending and time and patience becomes beautiful. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just, uh, ooh, you can see my bra. Oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, but anyways, so I'm just putting that in the corner of my um, eye. And I'm going to blend it out now. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to keep blending it out until I feel comfortable with how it looks like. Because nobody wants to look like that. Okay, now I'm going in uh, with my highlighting color from the Lorac uh, palette the tantalizer palette and I'm just gonna put that in my crease and I'm sorry I'm blocking my eyeball with the stupid uh, little palette <laughs> so I'm gonna blend that out until I feel okay you know it doesn't look like I'm a clown basically <laughs> so I'm gonna keep blending that out like I'm doing and uh, eventually I'm gonna go ahead and re-put some of that purple and that blue because I lost a little bit of the color uh, while I was blending it out so I'm going back in with uh, the purple I mean the blue I'm sorry and I'm blending that out. And now I'm going to go back in with the purple on the side, in the, uh, the outer corner, and I'm going to blend that out again with the black. So I'm trying to just kind of make sure that my eyes look even. Um, and that's what I was doing. And then I just kind of blended it out again. I'm just blending it out to make it look even with the other eyelid. Okay, so... <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm coming down with a little cold. Um, so I'm blending it out even more because, like I said, I'm trying to make sure that both eyelids are exactly the same or similar, if anything. 
and I'm you know going back in with some more of that pink because I lost a little bit of it when I was blending so I'm just gonna pack some more of that pink on there so you guys can see it better and I'm putting that in the inner part of my eye as well so I think I'm satisfied with that so the next step is to curl my eyelashes and you don't want to be too harsh with this because you can pull your eyelashes out especially if they're not moisturized so just a little tiny bit that's all you need and now I'm going to go in with my Sephora uh, Pantone Universe Black Liner and I'm going to uh, line my waterline. And don't pull too hard on um, the bottom of your lid to get that on there either. I just pull very lightly. Even though it looks like I'm being rough, I'm actually not pulling that much at all. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that in my waterline, get it pretty intense. So that it's noticeable. See? And I didn't put any uh, eyeliner on the top because it wasn't necessary. So, I'm going to go in with my mascara. This is the Great Lash Mascara by Maybelline. And I know a lot of people don't use this because it's a little bit difficult to use at first. But once it dries out a little bit, it's awesome. And it leaves your lashes really, really nice. And I love the fact that it doesn't clump. It really separates your lashes. So, I'm just going to do that and I'll be right back. Actually, I lied. I'm going to put some more on there. <laughs> and I'll be right back. Hama loves, loves them back now. Um, and I want to just tell you guys um, what I did to finish this look. This is the final look. Hope you guys like it and enjoyed it. And I'm sorry the tutorial was kind of a ghetto. <laughs> I'm just having a lot of trouble with lighting and with this computer and stuff like that. But I hope that you guys can see the colors pretty well right now. Um, so I went ahead and finished this look with this hard candy um, skin perfecting primer this stuff is awesome it feels like silicone or like some smooth yummy delicious texture on your skin when you use it so this stuff is awesome so I went ahead and primed my face let it kind of dry off a little bit then I went in with um, my Maybelline um, matte mousse uh, powder in pure beige medium number two um, this stuff it just feels really good and it leaves your skin pretty flawless as you can tell like I have very big pores and you can't even see them um, so what I did is after I actually buffed it out with my hand uh, I went in with this sponge I wet it and then I just kind of went like that to um, saturate it into my skin and then I went in with this buffing brush and I just buffed it out and then on top of that I went in with this uh, Maybelline loose uh, Shine Free Powder in Medium 2. Just a powder that uh, sets your makeup. And it also um, prevents it from shining. So I love this stuff. Um, and then I just went in with this brush again and just kind of finished it off. And uh, last but not least, I went in with this Kabuki brush. And using the same double stack palette that I used for my makeup, I used um, this beautiful pink... I'm sorry, everything's falling. Ah, this beautiful pink color right here um, to do my cheeks. And it's, it just gave it a light flush of color. It looks very, very nice and sweet <laughs> and natural. And then to finish the look, I went in with uh, this beautiful, one of my favorite lipsticks in uh, from Wet n Wild. This is called Dollhouse Pink, and it's in number 967. It's very drying, so I suggest that if you're going to use this, you use something on top of it like a gloss. Or you can also, uh, what I do sometimes, put the gloss um, underneath it. And then I go ahead and put this on. So for gloss, I use this beautiful baby pink beauty rush in Laffy Taffy, I believe it is. Um, no, Laffy Go Lucky, something like that. Um, my girl, Mealy Bev, gave this to me. So thank you, Mama, for that. And that is all for the look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry, it was a little bit ghetto, like I said. But I hope you're seeing the colors um, truthfully how they are right now. Uh, if, if you have any requests, just hit me up. And don't forget to subscribe. And peace out. Leave my nappy here. Oh, my God. <laughs> Peace out, you guys. I love y'all, and talk to you later. Bye!